What's going on everyone, Ken here. Today we're gonna to take a look at the V50 Pro SE. So this is the special edition of the V50 Pro, which came out a few years ago. Now this particular action camera is special for a lot of reasons, but one, part of the funds used to purchase the action camera goes to a charity, but two, it shoots in 4K60, but now there is no image stabilization at 4K60. So let's look at some videos I shot earlier today. What's going on guys? Uh, today, again, we're shooting with the Acaso V50 Pro SC. And right now, as you probably can tell, there's no stabilization in this shot. That's because I'm shooting in 4K60 with no stabilization using the Acaso V50 Pro SC. Now, put that aside, this is a really good action camera. And, you know, you don't get 4K60 with stabilization. Eh, but you do get a really good quality action camera. Now, I'm talking to you from the action camera, so everything we're going to do today is going to be shot using the internal audio from the Acaso V50 Pro SC. Now, again, you see a lot of jumps. You see a lot of jittering. I'm trying my best to walk really slow and give you guys a good sense of how it feels to shoot in this action camera at the 4k 60 frames per second shot without stabilization so again you don't get stabilization with this particular setting but you do get a good quality setting and again it's gray outside it's kind of you know it's, it's kind of that we don't have any sun uh it's getting ready to rain uh so you don't get 4k 60 with stabilization with good sun and a good quality shot but you got to get a chance to see how the quality looks. So I'm gonna turn this around so you guys can see that. I apologize for all the jumping, but you know, there's no stabilization at 4K60. Again, this is, audio is coming spread out of the uh, camera itself. Again, no um, stabilization, so I apologize for all the jumping and all the uh, jittering and things of that nature that's coming from this action camera in this particular setting, but we're gonna go shoot in the next setting. All right guys, so this is a audio test slash 4K 60 test quality of the Acaso V50 Pro SE. Now, it's very uh, grayish outside, but I wanted to show you guys how it looks uh, in the 4K 30 setting. Uh, in the Castle V50 Pro SC. Also give you guys some good audio coming from the Castle V50 Pro SC. Now for those of you who are not familiar with this action camera, the V50 Pro have very good audio coming out of the camera. Now we're shooting in wide and we're not shooting in super wide, so I kind of like the wide version better than the super wide. But I want to show you guys how it looks shooting 4K 30 in this particular action camera. So I'm gonna turn this around so that you guys can see how it looks. But keep in mind, it's a little grayish outside. It's getting ready to rain here shortly. So, but you should get a good actual picture on how the 4K 30 setting looks on this particular action camera. Or again, passing trees and everything like that so you guys can see. Again, it's a little grayish, but you should get the picture. All right, so let's go to the next setting. All right, guys, so this is the 2.7, 30 frames per second. And again, it's a little windy outside, but just wanted to give you guys a sense of how it looks. We're at 2.7 at 30 frames per second. Again, still in the park, walking the same trail. Uh, audio quality still should be good coming out of this particular action camera at 2.7 at 30 frames per second. So again, I'm going to turn it around, let you guys see. Uh, to be honest with you guys, 2.7 is uh, one of my favorite uh, settings to film in. 2.7 that 1080p, 2K, those are some of my favorite settings to film in, only because it takes less time to render your uh, your product to your camera, from your camera to the computer to get it uploaded. So it's not 4K, uh, it doesn't take as much time, but this is uh, one of my favorite settings to shoot in. 
So um, even with the Castle V50X, this is one of my favorite uh, settings to shoot in. So again, I'm gonna turn this around so you guys can see, get a picture quality on how it looks shooting with the uh, action camera at 2.7 to 30 frames per second. Again, you can see the detail in the trees, things of that nature. So again, this is 2.7, 30 frames per second. I know the audio quality should sound good because the V50 Pro audio quality was great uh, coming straight out of the action camera. So it's one of the pluses this action camera has versus the Castle V50X. All right guys, so we're gonna go to the next setting. All right guys, so this is 1080p at 60 frames per second. Another favorite, um, setting for me again this is 1080p at 60 frames per second again talking to you guys from the front of the camera so you can get a sense of how the audio quality looks i mean sound in all of the settings with stabilization on as we showed you guys before this caching camera has no stabilization at 1080p i mean i'm sorry at 4k at 60 frames per second but this is still a really good action camera uh particularly for the audio quality um so it's a little bit more expensive than the Castle V50X, but it's still good. So we're gonna show you guys how it looks with 1080p at 60 frames per second. Again, the details in the trees and the leaves. Tell me how it looks uh, when you guys look at this. Again, this is 1080p at 60 frames per second. All right, we're gonna shoot now in 1080p, 30 frames per second. All right, guys, again, this is the last setting we're shooting in. This is 1080p at 30 frames per second. I wanna give you guys a quick look at how it looks in 1080p 30 frames per second um, you should get a really good detail from this particular setting 1080p is a really good setting to shoot uh, with an action camera 4k is great to give you a better quality but I like 1080p particularly if you're uploading to your computer uh, so this is a really good setting for the action camera 1080p at 30 frames per second just like last time we're gonna turn it around so you guys can get a look on how it looks at 1080p at 30 frames per second. Again, 1080p at 30 frames per second. You guys tell me how it looks again keep in mind that it's not a sunny day it's very dreary out here and there is a lot of uh, grayish in the area because it's getting ready to rain again we're gonna look at the trees and the details and stuff in the trees Alright guys, so that's 1080p at 30 frames per second. Alright guys, so now we're going to do a audio sync test. As you guys know, uh, but first let me tell you, we're going to talk just a little bit because I want to see if the audio sync, the audio quality and the syncing goes out on the Castle V50 Pro SE and within two minutes as it did with the uh, Castle V50X and the Camp Park V30. So we're going to talk just a little bit just to get an audio quality and syncing test to see if the audio quality goes out on this particular action camera. Now one of the things I do like about this particular action camera is that it has a host of settings. Uh, one of the settings that I like about this particular action camera, you can shoot 1080p at 120 frames per second. So if you, if you really want to get a good slowdown, 
smooth slow motion uh, test or shot out of this particular action camera you can shoot 1080p at 120 frames per second you can also do 720 i think at 120 frames per second as well uh, now i don't normally don't shoot at 720 at all period but for those of you who really want something like that you can do that it may be 720 at 240 or 720 at 120. don't quote me on that because i'm quite no, i'm really not sure about that but again we're just going to talk a little bit just so we can get a audio test within two minutes just to see if the audio quality goes out of sync now i don't think it i don't believe it does uh like the castle v50x uh, in the camp part 30. however we're going to test it and see if it goes out of sync within two minutes now again i'm still at the park i'm on a different side of the park versus the side of the park that i shot earlier so Again, we're just briefly talking just to test the audio quality, trying to see if it get out of sync. So uh, for those of you who want a good quality action camera at an affordable price, this was compared to the GoPro 6, I think. Um, I'm not quite sure, but I think the GoPro 6 also shoots uh, 4K at 60 frames per second, but without stabilization. Uh, so if you guys are looking to get something uh, like a GoPro or something equivalent of a GoPro 6 or something like that this is a heck of a lot cheaper than going uh trying to buy a gopro and now as you guys know i tested gopros before and i like gopro but uh, you know i'm a huge fan of a castle i think that they give you a, a lot of different stuff for an affordable price so again we're just randomly talking and give you guys my uh, my cues and stuff like that on why i like a castle versus um gopro now gopro makes an amazing camera every camera is really fit to compete with the gopro but you know i'm a huge fan of a castle i think they make a great product and it give you a really good product for an affordable price like i said before so guys this is gonna just talk in a little bit but guys let me know if you think the video quality goes out of sync i'm not gonna do anything in post i'm not gonna try to fix anything but i just want to make sure that the audio quality stays within uh the frame rates and syncing all right guys all right guys so this is going to do it for me i'm gonna leave you guys with this nice 1080p at 120 frames per second car watch video again guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that bell for notification and don't forget to subscribe as well check out all the show notes and things i have listed down below and i'll see you guys in the next video peace